Hey guys, welcome to Sports for the Zinx Tickets. I'm your host, Owen Abrowski, and today we'll be starting up UFC Undisputed 3 Career Mode. Yeah, I absolutely love this game, and let's get this game started. Welcome to UFC Undisputed 3's Career Mode. With less emphasis on stat management, this year's career mode focuses on training games and more fights to get you back into the action quicker. The training games include seven drills and seven sparring sessions. Drills focus mainly on raising your attributes, while sparring sessions concentrate on honing your skills. In UFC 3, you can also take your favorite fighter from the roster, build up his attributes and skills, and relive or rewrite his career as you see fit. And with the all-new Career Live Movies feature, you'll get the chance to go deep inside the UFC world and hear from some of today's biggest stars on the situations you yourself will encounter. Camps have been revamped this year, and you'll have the option of joining one of six real-world camps. Early on, you can try different camps, but ultimately, choosing your camp alignment for the remainder of your career. When doing so, you'll become a member of that camp. You'll gain access to the camp's logo, and we'll also see the camp trainer appear in your corner. Another feature which allows you to raise your stats simply by competing in fights is the game plan feature. Pick a game plan, stick to it, and execute it during your fight to keep the effects of the game plan and enhance your fighter's ability. Cred earned from your fights will need to be put to good use this year as your training and camp sessions, as well as formulating game plans, will now cost you you crack. Training program upgrades, which increase your attribute cap limit, and new sparring partners, which increase your skill cap limit, also cost cred. You'll need to perform well and spend your cred wisely as you make your way through three organizations, the World Fighting Alliance, Pride Fighting Championships, and the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Think you can become a champion in all three? Let's find out. Wow, the game looks really, really nice. I honestly love this game. I play this game so much. Let's get started with the new career mode. I absolutely love this game. When I'm playing it now, I play it like all the time. I give it 10 out of 10, no doubts. My only concern is, is that the loading screen is too long, but that's not a big deal. And yeah, let's get this fight started. Come on, let's go get this career mode started. Yeah. Few individuals have what it takes to make it as a fighter. Few men can develop the kickboxing, the wrestling, and jiu-jitsu skills required to compete in every aspect of mixed martial arts. Are you one of these select few? Looks really nice, looks really cool. Um, let's quickly check in with Mark Goldberg and let's see what he has to say to help us. See, Undisputed go. 3's career mode. I'm Mike Goldberg and I'll be here to help guide you on your quest to creating the next Octagon Legend. Let's get you started by entering your fighter's basic information. That will include your name, height, and most importantly, your weight division. Choose your weight division carefully, because during your career, you'll be able to fight in multiple divisions. However, you'll only be able to fight in your starting weight division, the one below it, or the one above it. Hey guys, I don't know if you can see, but I am my guy, Jacob Bolt, nicknamed The Storm. He's 18 years old, from Vancouver, fighting out of Vancouver, British Columbia. And I think you guys can see, it's pretty obvious. Um... His weight class, he's a welterweight. I want to be going out and fighting against the top welterweight people. I might create more UFC fighters, maybe put them in heavyweight, like heavyweight divisions, division, stuff like that. Um, this is what he looks like. He looks pretty strong, well built. Um, he has a dragon tattoo on his left boob. His face, he has a little bit of a beard, kind of. 
His hair is a little long. He has a uh, mini mohawk. Um, yeah. So if you guys can see, he looks pretty good now. Um, yeah. Um, one thing I've made a mistake in UFC, in a blah 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 UFC, I did not become a WFA champion. Yeah, because I just wanted to get straight into UFC, but uh, I kind of made a mistake and became champion in WFA. So, um, sorry about that. Yeah. Yeah. Now let's see what my over wants to It's time to select your martial arts background or base. Are you a wrestler, a striker, a jiu-jitsu wizard? Picture yourself and how you want to fight and select a style that suits you as it will determine your starting stats and moveset. While you will be able to complement your base and pick up new moves by training with camps during your career, you will not be able to change it, so make sure you are happy with the base technique you choose. After you've selected your base, you'll then need to select your stance and power hand. Once these are set, we'll jump into some training exercises to see how well you will handle yourself inside the octagon. So yeah, Mark, Mark, Mike Goldberg giving us some instructions there. Um, one thing I am gonna do for the UFC on the Speed of the series, I am going to make a fighter, and one fighter for every different style. So in all, I'll have eight fighters. I'm not gonna do an MMA style, so I'm just gonna have eight fighters. And here are the different styles. In the boxing style, boxing focuses more on punches and allows fighters to match different variations of punches, as well as heavy punches that deliver knockouts. Base moves are the lunging left hook, lunging right hook, and uh, the uppercut. In karate, karate fighters are masters of, of unorthodox striking techniques. They utilize punches, kicks, knees, and elbows, and come out and come at different angles than a boxer or a kickboxer. Base moves are the right karate straight, lighter stepping straight, and judo, ashi, barrels, and half guard rights. The Muay Muay fighters are devastating strikers both from the standing position as well from the Muay Thai clinch. Powerful knees and trunk elbows from the clinch can end the fight early if correctly landed. Base moves are the right dodge, knee to body, swing, elbow, and the side Muay Thai knee. Kickboxing is a style of fighting that incorporates both punches and kicks into striking attempts. However, more emphasis is placed on landing kicks, head kicks, body kicks, and leg kicks are tools of his trade. Base moves are the left spinning back fist, right spinning back fist, and the right flying head kick. Wrestlers are typically strong and holding forces and look to get the fight to the ground by performing shoot or drop takedowns from the clinch as well as those in the face. Base moves are suplex, side control, top speed, transition to open guard. 